Believers, it is very important for us to see what we're dealing with from the start. Now, when you just met someone, you don't know much about an individual. You know whether they're male or female, you know their hair color, their eye color of their eyes, you know some things about them because you've met them. Or you may know their name, but you may know where they're from, if they had the profile online, but deep knowledge you don't have of them. You don't have to. Your inner radar shows you things about an individual that you can't possibly know. If someone is negatively charged, you can sense that in your energy field. It's not something that the individual will likely tell you, but you can sense it. Or if someone is of the positive kind, you can sense it also. So life is not about knowing all information. It's about using your intuition in combination with information that's available to you. So life is not about having all information. Life is about using your intuition in combination with the information that's available to you. And that's what we as believers ought to do. And there is one simple trick that you can use in order to see what and who you're dealing with from the start. When someone has a social media profile online, check their profile picture. Now, there are people who don't use a profile picture because they only use social media as a tool. For example, those are people who are activists or people that are sharing forbidden content in the sense that they're exposing corruption, all of that, so they don't po post their picture or else they will put themselves in danger. That's different. But if someone does not have such a motive and it's just a personal profile on social media, check their profile picture. How do they look? What's their facial expression? Which type of sensation you get when you look at their eyes? Examine those things. Why? You may think Rashid is just a picture. No, 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 no. That picture is the first thing people see when they look up their name. That picture is the first impression people get from you. So when someone puts a profile picture, that is how they want you to see them. So check the profile picture. And your profile picture will always reveal something about your internal motive. You think this is not true? Okay, let me explain. Let's say you have a profile picture and there's a lady on it, but she has her hands not, um, she has her hands folded in a very weak position. That body language just shows that someone is insecure and closed, introverted. And later, when you're in contact with that individual, you will realize indeed that they are closed off from others and they have social anxiety. Even though she wore a nice dress on the profile picture, her body language revealed her inner state. Or you may see someone's profile picture and you see they have a lot of makeup on. When you look at the eyes, you can see some type of blankness or sadness staring at you. That shows you that all that makeup is to cover up internal turmoil that they don't want to face. If someone has a profile picture on holiday, but you see that they're looking a bit static, that is because the individual may be going through a lot of stuff at that moment. Look, a picture says more than a thousand words. That's a saying that's correct. When someone has a profile picture and they're not showing their face, but they're showing their back to you, that's an individual that really has internal conflicts that they don't want to face. So they want to remain vague with you. If someone refuses to put a profile picture, that means that someone is frightened of the idea that others may know things about them and because they think others may use information against them. If someone has a profile picture, for example, you have a female and she has a profile picture with another female, that doesn't mean she's automatically gay or LGBT or whatever. It can be that she values friendships a lot. There can also be a motive behind it. 
Now, don't get me wrong. Not every interpretation you make of a profile picture is immediately true. Okay? So, you need to be watchful with that. Nevertheless, examine someone's profile picture. Examine it. Today, we have social media. Previous generations, before 2009, did not make as much use of social media like we do today. Social media has become part of daily life for society. So, we have to deal with that in a practical way. Examine someone's profile picture. Examine it. By examining the profile picture, you'll get an impression of what you're dealing with. That is why when you apply for a job, they often want you to put a picture of yourself. Now, you may ask, why do you want the picture of me? How I look, you know, determine whether I get a job or not. That's true. And in some countries, you're even permitted to refuse to do that. The reason they want you to put a profile picture is because they want to see what type of psychology you have. Because you're the one delivering the profile picture, you're the one making the selection, so that choice will reveal what and who you are. Or the state of mind you have at the time that you gave that profile picture. So you can have a resume that's excellent, but you may have a profile picture that um, gives off a fearful impression. What's going to happen? The recruiter will show this to the employer. An employer will look at it and think, hmm, this individual has all the credentials, all the work experience, but look at this. They gave me a fearful impression. No, I'm not going to hire this individual because I can sense that if I hire this individual later at, at the office, there will be issues and conflicts. That's how it goes. So, check people's profile pictures. And besides profile pictures, also examine how their social media profile looks like. If they have 500 contacts that, we, that are called friends on Facebook, for example, or let's say they have 500 contacts, and from all those contacts, only around five people tend to respond on their, on their pictures and their posts, then ask yourself, where are the other 495 people? Or if, they, or if people uh, make comments on their profile and they never respond, then realize that something's wrong with that individual. Because you can't have people voluntarily responding on things on your uh, profile and you don't even give them any attention. Either you're a narcissist and think you're too important to respond to people, or there are other psychological issues going on, like depression or suicidal thoughts, that demotivates you from interacting with others. Realize, believers, that when the world comes after us, they will examine everything about us they can find to find some loophole that they can use to have a grip on us. We should outsmart the world. When the CIA or FBI or any of those intelligence agencies are looking for someone, they will check their social media, they will check the social media of their friends, families, and everyone around, they have, they have whole teams doing these things just to build a profile of who they're dealing with. So, be wise as a serpent. Examine those you encounter, whether it's online or in real life. By the way, online is real life, but that's just the way we call it. Examine them. Too often, we don't do such simple things. Doing such simple things can prevent a lot of headache in the future. Well, that's it for now. Keep on agreeing with Christ and be at peace.